What's up, everyone? It's Russo and Jordy with Backdoor Fantasy Sports, and uh, we're going to be talking about the WNBA slate for Flex Friday um, on uh, July 12th. We have four plays for you for prize picks and underdog. Um, if you haven't signed up for these platforms yet for prize picks, just use the promo code at the bottom of the screen. They'll match your first deposit up to $100. And then for underdog, just use code BACKDOOR and they will hook you up with a deposit match up to 250. And they're gonna give you an instant pick em special, which is a discounted prop that will uh, help you cash your first slip. And um, yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. These are the plays that we're taking. Um, I'm going with Jackie Young over 23 and a half points and rebounds. I'm getting that line on prize picks and underdog. And then um, uh, Courtney Williams, I'm going to be taking the rebounds under um, for this one, getting it at five on prize picks. And we're getting it at five and a half on underdog. So we're taking the under on both of those. What are you getting into today, Jordy? Yeah, uh, I just realized that the screenshot said over, but he is taking that under. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah. on, on uh, underdogs. So, yeah, I'm taking uh, AJ Wilson for under 20 and a half first half PRA, and I'm taking Alana Smith for under 14 and a half first half fantasy score. And then on underdog, the only difference is I'm taking Alana Smith under uh, first half or over first half points, rebounds, and assists. RIP to everyone who just skips ahead to the screenshots. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, I need to fix it. <laughs> unless unless I'm wrong. And then they're like going to be happy. They just want the <laughs> screenshots. Um, all right. So let's break into these plays. If you haven't signed up for DG um, Daily Grind, uh, the DGF, uh, the DG Optimizer, the DFS Optimizer, man, tongue, tongue tied today. Um, but Daily Grind, they make killer tools. Uh, you see us use it every video, but uh, you can get 25% off when you use code backdoor at dgfantasy.com. They have four main tools. We love the DFS Optimizer. We're going to utilize the other tools. Uh, I still use the AI Slip Generator from time to time, but can't wait for that for football season coming up here. Um, but it is good for stuff like uh, eSports um, and uh, NHL when we when we have NHL. Um, and sometimes they'll hit you with a slip that is just like multiple sports uh, that is a little bit correlated um, on uh, platforms that allow correlation. Um, but yeah, 25% off, just use code backdoor, dgfantasy.com. There's a link in the description of the video for all of this stuff we talk about. So, all right, so Jackie Young, um, I like her going over this. She's gone over this line in uh, four straight games. Uh, she's very active uh, when she's on the floor, um, which you always like. Uh, 33.3 minutes per game over the last five, just 2.6 fouls. So she's never really dealing with foul trouble. 15.2 um, attempts at 47% uh, from the field. So uh, she's been playing great lately. I like her to keep it up, um, averaging uh, 5.4 rebounds a game right now. And the matchup is, is not bad. Um, let's see, specifically to guards, a um, little bit tight on the uh, rebounds allowed uh, second in the league. So a little bit of a tough matchup there, but she's been uh, relatively consistent and she's been going off with the scoring lately. So uh, sixth in points allowed, but overall as a team, they're eighth in rebounds allowed. So it's just specifically to that guard position where they're a little bit tighter. Um, yeah, so sixth in points allowed, eighth in rebounds allowed overall as a team. Um, and here's a little note from Outlier. It says, uh, Jack Young has exceeded 23. Uh, 0.5 points and rebounds in six straight games on the road in addition to that four straight. So she plays well on the road um, in this category as well. So feeling good about that. If we hop over to the optimizer here, uh, let's see, they have this favor to go over 51.2% minus 126. And it looks like every platform that has this at 23 and a half is favoring it to go over um, some as high as minus 135. So, but yeah, everyone's kind of juicing this one to go over. I'm feeling pretty good about it. And then we got uh, Courtney Williams here. I like this under um, when when I'm watching her play, you know, I must have just been catching these games where she has been popping off a little bit because she's I, I love Courtney Williams as a player. I think she's killer um, and uh, she does seem very active uh, with uh, getting in there on the games that I've watched and grabbing some boards. But uh, if you look at this, she's uh, only cleared this line three out of her last 10 games. Um, so feeling good about that. And then uh, in the head to head, uh, she's only gone over it twice um, out of her last seven games. Um, so if we take a closer look here, she's matched up against Seattle and, and they're, they're clearly pretty tough. They're a solid defensive team, um, uh, specifically to her position. So the matchup is, is not rough, you know, uh, eighth and rebounds allowed to, uh, guards and, uh, overall 10th. Um, but she just hasn't been that active in this category lately. Um, like we said, just three out of her last 10 games, she's cleared this line of five, um, I do like it better on underdogs since we're getting the five and a half. So a little bit higher chance of a push uh, on prize picks. 
but um but yeah i'm feeling good i'm definitely taking the under here averaging 26.3 minutes per game getting a, a little bit of a boost lately with some of the injuries they've been dealing with um, but just 1.5 fouls, so she's not getting in foul trouble. She just doesn't seem to be that active in the rebounding. Like her main her main thing right now has been assisting the ball. Um, she hasn't been, I don't think, doing a lot scoring lately either. Um, no, um, but she does uh, do a decent amount of assisting the ball, relatively consistent there. But I like the under on the rebounds today. If we hop over to daily grind for this one, they've got this favored to go under at 53.46%, uh, even at five. Um, minus 141. You can see these other platforms that have it at five and a half, like we're getting on underdog. Um, they've got it favored to go under. Crazy. Minus 172, minus 176. Um, even this other, uh, these other platforms have it at four and a half and they have it favored to go under. Man, some of these are super juiced to go. Well, I mean, not all of them, but we've got like a minus 135 favoring the four and a half to go under. So I'm feeling comfortable with the five here. I'm going to take it for less. And um, yeah, that covers my two plays. If you guys do want to check out this app outlier, you can see how it definitely helps us vet our plays. Uh, you can just dive into the details with this app. Um, really killer gives you the insights like we read with Jackie Young. You can look at matchups, injury reports, insights about the players, and you can look at the, the history of the player uh, statistically, which is super helpful when you're making a decision about a prop that you like. Um, so if you guys want to try this out, they're a partner of ours. They're going to give you a seven day free trial. There's a link in the description. All you have to do is go through that link and they'll let you try it out free for seven days. All right, Jordy, I'll pass it over to you, bro. Sweet. Yeah, man. So to get into mine here, um, I'm going to be starting out with this Aja Wilson under on her PRA for the first half. I love this play. Um, she's only gone over this twice out of her last 10 games, and she's only gone over it four times out of the last 20. Um, or sorry, six times out of the last 20. So really, we're getting a lot of value here. It's a very tough matchup to centers. Um, so they're first in points allowed, second in rebounds, first in assists. So it should be pretty good for the under here. Um, I know defensive categories don't mean too, too much in the WNBA, but I'll take anything we can get there. And in the head-to-head, -head, she's only gone over it one time. Um, so loving what I'm seeing here on this Asia Wilson under. Not too much more to go over, um, honestly. She gets a lot of minutes in the first half, so it's going to be a little bit of a sweat, but not really. Um, I'm hoping anyway. She has come very close in a lot of these games, so if it's a little too close for your comfort, then you can just go with something else if you want. But, I mean, to me, it, it looks like a great under, so going to be taking that one under there. And then Alana Smith, um, we're taking her under, or sorry, over on her first half PRA on underdog, so I'll just go over that really quick. Um, they don't have her fantasy score, but I do like the PRA as well. She's gone over this in 7 out of her last 10 games, 11 out of her last 20 um, in the first half. She's she's very active in the first half, so I always love taking her first half props. Um, so she's about 50-50 on the year as well with this play. But in the head-to-head, -head, she she does pretty well against them. She's gone over this 4 out of 7 times in the PRA. She's had some monster halves where she went for 6 points and 14 rebounds, 16 points, 4 rebounds type thing. So, you know, I love this play. And then I really like the fantasy score, though, because she does get, like, a lot of blocks and steals and stuff. Um, I've taken this play before on the channel and had luck with it. So um, she's gone over this play 13 out of her last 20 games and 7 out of her last 10. Pretty much the same thing, but just a little bit more over the longevity of the play because she does get active on defense. And she's pretty tall, so um, she's a really good defender. So four out of her last five games, she's gone over this. She just missed it in that last game. I think it was at 13 and a half. She went for 12. So, um, very, very close on the last one, but yeah, I feel comfortable taking her again in this one. And then the head to head, she's gone over it four out of seven times. Like I said, just barely missing it that last time. So, um, feeling really comfortable taking both of those overs on her and, uh, that's going to be my two plays. But if you guys want to check out chalkboard, definitely go check them out. They're a lot of fun. They're another, um, you know, prop type pick them, uh, app, just like prize picks and underdog. So if you guys want to go check them out, it's a lot of fun. You can bump lines up and down. They're very customizable lines too. Like you could take Jackie Young's PR and bump it up to like 24 and a half or 25 and a half and get a higher multiplier on her. Um, you get like a three or a three X or a four X on that play. So if you like playing really big plays, you can get a bang for your buck. Or if you like playing like two or three mans, you get, get really, really good uh, odds and multipliers on all of those plays. So definitely go check them out. They run like six specials a day too. It's kind of ridiculous, but I love it. It's you have so much to choose from over there. But um, yeah, if you want to check that out, there's a link in the description and just use code backdoor at checkout and they'll match your first deposit up to a hundred dollars. 
All right. If you guys want to join our Discord community, um, we have a lot of fun in here. Uh, we work together as a community, just really great people in here. Um, we share all of our plays and um, we vet plays together. We cover multiple platforms. Um, it's been a little bit slower lately, not going to lie. Um, it's been a little bit uh, tough stretch, um, but still really killer community doing research together. So if you guys want to come join our community, just go through the Patreon link. And uh, once you sign up through Patreon, go into the settings and just link your Discord account. There's an external apps option on Patreon. Um, very simple to do. Just go into settings and then it'll unlock our entire Discord for you. Um, and then if you decide to do that, make sure you hop in the community chat. Let us know if you're new to the Discord so we can show you around because we do have a little bit of a rhythm to the way we do things in here. Um, but we really appreciate you guys tuning in. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And if you guys don't mind, just hit us with a like on the way out. It really helps us uh, just grow the channel, puts us in front of a larger audience. And um, we appreciate the support, guys. So have a great weekend. Good luck on your Flex Friday slips, and we'll catch you in the next video. Good luck, guys.